Hey ladies, it's Kristen. I have a new tutorial for you today. Um, what we're going to be making is bottle cap magnets. So you're just going to need a few bottle caps. You can use the unused bottle caps and spray paint them like I did. I spray, spray painted both the top and the bottom. Um, some magnets, which I got at Walmart. Some glossy accents by Ranger. This is awesome. You can use it as a glue too. Some Mod Podge. See that there? Foam brush. A one inch punch. Some embellishments if you want. Um, these are perfect. The little sticker rhinestones. And paper. And in this case, I'm using the full-on package. And what I'm using is the actual package paper itself so that I have all the designs I want at the size I want for these. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all this stuff out of the way for now. We're going to take our packaging. We're going to pick out a couple different ones. So let's do the circles. You're just going to want to punch one inch circle. In this one, I have enough room for three different circles, maybe even four. So we're just going to do two for now so I can show you what they look like. Now we don't need our punch or our paper anymore for now. And on these ones, I've already added the magnet. So we don't need to do that. This one's already been Mod Podged. So we'll get our Mod Podge ready. You do want quite a bit of Mod Podge because you want to make sure it covers the whole thing and that your piece of paper does not come up. So you just press down really well. As soon as you realize that it's totally on there, you can go ahead and take the excess off with your finger. You do get a bit messy. Sorry. I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to press all the edges down so we can get it to where it sticks. If it's not centered on there perfectly, that's not important. Unless you're totally crazy like I am, and it has to be perfect. Okay, that one's on there pretty well. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to take our clear glaze. This one's already dry enough. So you can add an embellishment if you want. You don't have to. Um, I would suggest that you put the rhinestone on before you glaze. Only so it knows that it's going to be sitting in there forever. And you know it's not going to fall off with dropping it or whatever. I must have tried. Because I just used it. You want to get all the edges from there so you just have a thin layer over it is you want to push it around so it covers the whole thing you don't have to cover the very top of that rhinestone now you'll see that you have some bubbles once in a while because you're not holding it correctly like me what you can do is you can take a clothespin or not a clothespin, I'm sorry, a safety pin. And use the needle part of it just to pull the bubbles to the end. I don't mind the bubbles so much, so I'm just going to keep it. From there, you're going to let that dry overnight. Now, these ones already have the magnets attached. 
attach. And that's what I'm going to show you next is how to attach them. So you're going to flip your bottle cap over. You're going to take some of your Ranger. This stuff holds really, really well. Way better than some of the other stuff I've been using. I had no idea until I watched a tutorial. Okay, so we have a little bit in there. Just a little pull. I'm going to smush that in. Now, just so I know that it's completely holding, I'm going to put a line around it. You don't have to put that much. I'm just crazy, so that's why I did that much, so you can see it. But from there, it's going to dry, and you're going to see the little glaze on it. But that's not going anywhere. And now, you can use that on your bulletin boards or whatever, and you have something decorated. This one, unfortunately, does not have a magnet yet. But you can make your own set. All of them will match. If you use a paper like this, if not, you can use regular papers. Just cut out the circles you want from whatever you're using. Simple, e you know, totally simple, super easy, way fun, and, and it's a great gift, too. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching.